How's it going guys? My name is Muffin and I have something really exciting to show you today. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys will like it, but I'm not taking it down because it took really long to make it. Oh yeah, that's right. That's humongous. <laughs> it's an entire mob tower and it took forever to build. And I just came down and what we're gonna do here is make make a, f a few diamond boots because we need um I need to I need to enchant these and see if we can get feather falling I'll show you in a second why I need it so there's a 23 that's good enough and no that's not good but uh darn it okay whatever uh, let's go let's go finish this thing up see so I've got my buckets of water here and let's see let's grab a few more buckets of water all right and what I've been doing here is I've just been I'll show you I'll show you one second let's get up there so I can show you around uh, this thing is a monster took forever to build. I'm all out of cobble now. I have no more cobble, no more smooth stone, no more stone bricks, and I had a ton of cobble and a ton of stone bricks. I even I even went back to my old base at Professor Napkin's house. I picked up the extra cobble over there, and I used all of it. And I only have around half a stack of smooth stone left, which is pretty crazy. Never thought it'd come to the day where I would run out. So what I've been doing here is I've just been jumping down floor by floor and something like this. Ah, oh, crap. I have to get my to get my get my stone brick out without dying here. I have to cover this hole up. There we go. And what I've been doing, I've just been doing this uh and then I would put the water down like so and then I just continue going down and I you see I I've already done most of, most of this already so we're just gonna keep on going down without dying hopefully <laughs> that'd be bad if we died let's eat some food oh last piece of bread shoot oh 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 that was close <laughs> let's heal up a bit yeah yeah, so I think I've done most of these floors. I swear I missed a few of the corners here because I would accidentally fall down every now and then. But I'm pretty sure I got most of these. Oh, yeah, you can see that this one's empty. So let's fill this in with water. The water goes to there, 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 and over here. Oops, I missed one. Over here. A few more buckets. And a little trick I've been using is making a infinite spring right over here. And I'm able to fill up my buckets. And this is how I did it. Oops, I have to get rid of this now. There we go. Uh, this is how I, I did the whole thing without extra buckets of water. Yeah. So, um, building this, some tips if you're trying to build this, and this is Etho's original design, one of Etho's mob trap designs, very, very efficient, uh, and, and it incorporates the lighting system quite well, so that's why I use it, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, oops, let's get, let's refill on water here. shoot <laughs> um a tip and a tip to use when you're building this I recommend building the outer walls first so make sure you understand the the entire building first and then then you'll be able to figure out exactly where the outer walls go uh, after you get out of here I'll show you what I mean shoot we need more water 
Oops. Wrong one. Destroyed my infinite spring. Darn it. One. Come on. Alright. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you in a second what I mean by knowing the blueprint well. Yeah. And knowing the bl blueprint makes it a lot easier to build. Especially, especially if you're trying to do it legit and single player. It's really, really hard. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Okay, last floor here. I just want I I saved these two for uh, to share with you guys. And I was hoping I would get feather falling, but I didn't. That's disappointing. Oops. Darn it. You see, I made two infinite springs here. So I have to get rid of all of them. There we go. That's fixed. Crap. That's some weird, weird bug. Whenever you're pressed up against a wall by a water stream, you jump. It's really weird. Alrighty. Yeah. You see that? It's kind of weird. Okay. And last two water streams. You can see I have a little bit of smooth stone down here. I was too lazy to change to stone brick, but I got most of it. Alright. There we go. And now this is fully operational, which is great. All right, let's, and what I've been doing around here is just shoving down random mushrooms, uh, makeshift mushroom farm. I can hear stuff spawning already. There's not supposed to be any spiders, so I don't know what's going on. Let's go downstairs. Oh my gosh! What the? came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, and I've been throwing mushrooms around here too. Makeshift mushroom farm. And you can hear the slimes. I don't want them to kill me. Hopefully they don't kill me. Oh, and I haven't worked on this at all. I'm sorry. I said I would. I forgot. Oops. Die. Die. Alright. And it's working great though. Slime farm is very, very efficient. So what we want. Let's kill that guy. I threw a bunch of mushrooms down here too. Alright, let's take our take our wonderful water staircase up. And what's good about this is um when I'm in here I can basically mess around in my inventory, get everything organized, and it will still still carry me up. So that's one of the good things about it, even though it's a bit slow. That stupid spider, let's kill him. Oh, I'm gonna use my oops. Gonna use my super spider killing sword on him. Bane of arthropods. <clears throat> get him. Get at me, bro. Bah! One hit kill. That's what you get for almost killing me. Alright. I might as well throw an enchantment on my my chest plate here. It's pretty crappy. But we'll throw an enchantment on it. Very cool. Oh, yeah, it's too high. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I have to figure, maybe attach a few more pistons on the sides here to make it super modular. But yeah, now we can test the mob system, which is really cool. I hear more spiders. I don't know where they are. Annoying spiders. Oh, let's throw our buckets back in here. We don't need them. And let's grab some glass. Go test it out. I need more food soon. I'm gonna die. Alright, let's turn the lights off. Should be fully functional. Oh, I think I left left it open, so we gotta hurry. And mob should start pouring down. Hopefully. Oh, uh, it's not gonna be super efficient because I left a lot of a lot of uh caves unexplored <clears throat> sorry um yeah there's a lot of caves everywhere that I haven't explored yet so it might be a little slow but it should work hope oh, yeah there we go there's one which is good there's two yeah three that's good that's really good and now all we have to do is all we have to do is, ooh, they're not dying. All we, oh, nice. All we have to do is 
hook up a sorter. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to hook up a mob sorter. I've seen a few good designs on YouTube. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the zombies fall down here. Creepers fall down here. And skeletons fall down here. It'd be really, really cool. Where, where are you coming from, dude? Get out of here. Taste my knockback to Bane of Arthropod sword. I can't even pronounce that word. Bane of Arthropods. And yeah, so it's working nicely. I'm very happy with it. So uh, let's do a little experiment. I'm not sure if if mobs will burn right here. Uh, maybe if I put a solid block on top, but. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook up something really makeshift. Oh, yeah, this is working really good. It's working wonderfully. And yeah, I need to hook up a killing mechanism too. You're not dying, are you? Why aren't you dying? There you go. Ha ha, this is awesome. I like it. Uh, so, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a a makeshift killing thing right here today and then we're gonna make an extra pipe to move them over here All right, so uh, let's organize my inventory a little bit uh, I don't know what to do about these boots they're kinda useless projectile protection uh, maybe maybe if I'm fighting skeletons or something like that kinda useless I don't like them uh, let's move our diamonds back. Still got lots of diamonds. I've been saving them up. Even though I have been wasting a lot of picks recently. Uh, let's get organized here. Let's grab a bunch of glass. Maybe a bit of redstone. So let's move right, move everything to its right spot. I have two swords. Kind of messy. Oh, we're going to eat rotten flesh for now. Whatever. Uh, move all this crap up here. For glass, we need a bit of redstone. And, oh, I want to show you how much stone I have left. So no, no, no bricks. I, I have ten stone bricks left. Twelfth smooth stone. I have quite a few of those, and just one stack of cobble. And I still have a bunch of that. All right, let's grab a bunch of redstone. A few torches. A few of this, and maybe a few repeaters. And I'm pretty sure stuff spawns here, because I took down the torches so our mushrooms would live. Nom 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 nom. Oh guys, um, Nack and I and I just recorded our first amnesia episode yesterday. Uh, we're we're super wusses, so we were super scared while filming it. Yeah. <laughs> We're not we're not good with that scary stuff, but we did our best. We uh we probably took too long on the first first ten minutes of the game, but that's okay. I hope you guys will uh watch it once it comes out. And yeah, so let's get rid of this glass here. We don't need it. I can kind of I can let's patch this up kind of messy. I'm going to finish this up a little bit. Make it look a little nicer. Especially here. I don't know what I was doing that for. It's all messy. It's all dark. Yeah, I need to hook up a lava blade. These guys are really annoying when I hear them messing around up there. And I have no normal wood. Yes, I do. It's right here. Got it. Grab a bit of wood. Let's fix this, fix this up. Oh, I thought I saw a creeper down there, but no, it's, those are slimes. And yeah, that's another thing. I have, to, I have to make a way to turn the slime farm off so we can increase rates here. Up in this farm. Yeah, it's working really nicely. I'm happy. This is really good. This is wonderful. Yeah. Okay, uh, Let's let's turn it off for now so I can work on it. And then once we're done make, uh, I think we'll have enough time to make the lava blade today. Just a testing one. Uh, let's grab some smooth stone. How do you get up here? 
Oh wow. He made it all the way up. Unless he climbed the ladder. I'm not sure. Alright, so what do we need? We need a bit of smooth stone. Grab my last little bits of it. Um Yeah, so it should be off now. Eat up. Uh, Alright, so let's kill the rest of these guys. Lovely. Alright, let's let's patch this up. Hopefully nothing falls on me. There we go. That looks nice. And all we have to do now is patch it up. Oops, wrong tool. Just fix the floor here. I don't know what this is for. I'm not sure <laughs> what I was thinking when I built that. And now we're out of smooth stone. Great. I think I have a little bit left in the furnaces, hopefully. I'm hoping. Let's go grab some. Yeah, I was like, I was burning through blaze rods uh, making this. I pick up so much cobble because I was too lazy to use my silk touch to, to mine more. But whatever. I have plenty of blaze rods from our blaze farm. And now we have a now we have a mob farm. This is awesome. Um, the two greatest goals you want to set yourself when starting a new Minecraft world is to make a mob farm and to make a blaze farm. Two most important things. Blaze farms are for XP and unlimited fuel. And a mob farm is for uh, it's pretty much for XP and and uh, stuff like skeletons they drop bones which are probably the most useful things uh, maybe second most useful things in the game they're awesome because you can grow trees with them which are which give you wood and with wood you can do everything which is awesome all right so let's split this up a little bit uh, we need to prevent them from taking damage here so I do need some I do need some buckets, and I'll grab a bucket of lava while I'm down here. Uh, look how much lava I have. I feel like I shouldn't make so many buckets, but whatever. Right, a few buckets, and a bucket of water. Maybe two buckets of water. Alright. And if you guys want to know how the redstone works here, Oh, I forgot to show you how we, how to build this thing really fast. Well, not really fast, but make it more efficient. Uh, what you need to do is uh, figure out exactly how wide this is. So, like, one, two, three, four. And what you do is you just lay it out, and then you just tower up as high as you want. So that's what I did. I just towered up really, really high and made an outline. And then I went inside with a bunch of ladders. And... That's what, and then I would make each floor one by one. And that really sped it up. So if you guys are looking to build this mob system, that's a really easy way to do it. And it makes it less confusing, because it's really confusing if uh, you don't know exactly what you're doing. I want to kill my mushrooms, so I'm going to put down a few blocks. Um, yeah, one second. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, I had to go grab some signs because I forgot them. So, what are these for? Signs go right here. And this is basically a, a water block. Oh, that might be too... Yeah, that's too high. We don't want them... We don't want the ones on, on the bottom floor getting stuck. So, we're just going to move the water block right there. And we'll put another stream of water there. So, they should not take any damage when falling. Hopefully not, at least. And they will get pushed over here. And I'm going to put the... Let's block this for a second. I'm going to put the, the lava blade right here. So, 
Let's, let's make a little path over here. I don't know how far this water will go. Ooh, that's close. Okay, so. Uh, that looks pretty good. And now we just have to add lava. Add the lava. Okay, so. Let's see. How are we going to do this? Uh, I think the best way to do this is to make a little drop like this. And let's get rid of this mushroom. Now, we'll fall down here. What we'll do is place a sign here. And we'll place a sign over here. And we don't need, I think, yeah, that should work fine. Um, let's grab some more water. Yeah, so the lava goes here. And that should work great. That should, that should work fine to kill them. We can test it out right now. So let's go turn this on. Let it warm up a bit while I grab some water. And stock up my food a little. Alrighty. Uh, I should make an infinite spring up there because I'm going to need a lot of stuff to get this all working. Alright, let's see if, see if we have any visitors in so far. Infinite spring. There you go. Uh... You see when any buddies come visit us. And we place another stream over there. Ah, let's get rid of that for now. This is where the items come out. And um I don't exactly don't know exactly how I want to build this. So this is just makeshift. I might move everything around later, but uh, this is how we're gonna do it for a little bit, and now we need a uh, we need another thing right here, uh, a piston switcher thing. Uh, so when I want them to, I can push them over here, and they will be sorted, and they will fall down into here. So what I'm th thinking is zombies, creepers skeletons or something like that oh shoot 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 no no <laughs> where did that hole come from where did that hole come from I didn't even see it who put that hole there <laughs> oh thank god thank god all of my stuff is most of my stuff is still here Oh, what kind of... Who put this here? Oh, wasn't an Enderman. Enderman can't pick up glass. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. It's working now. Okay, I don't lose too much stuff. That's good. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Uh, how do we fix this? Huh. Yeah, he probably spawned in, um, he probably spawned in one of the first two floors and ended up, um, just hopping down and swimming a little bit. So that's why he's stuck there, but now he's figured out how to get him out. Um, let's see, let's do some troubleshooting here. Let's go turn it off now because we have a problem. Uh, I'm just going to pop a tor torch down here to make it simpler. Can I pop a tr torch down? There you go. Okay. Let's wait for it to slow down a bit. And... Yeah, it's working great. Looks good. I might move this lava blade even down further. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this guy. Oh, darn it. Oh, I see what's going on. Um... Let's see. I 
really have no idea how to fix this. Oh, I lost my buckets too. Let's go grab some more. Um, I'm thinking I do I need a farther drop because drop isn't long enough for the bottom few floors. And that's why they're swimming. So we have to we have to either I don't know. Because I don't want to uh I don't want to get rid of the drop thing completely, otherwise otherwise uh they'll die when they fall. So I don't know how exactly I'm going to do this, but let's try figuring it out. Let's get rid of this water. Hop in here, get rid of the lava. Let's kill these guys. Die, 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 die. There you go. I get rid of this water. And get rid of this water. And now I have to figure out how to do this. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see how much space I have under here. Like, I want to see how deep I can go. Before I... Yeah, okay. So I can go a little, a little farther down. Which should be fine. I don't really want to do it this close because... The mobs are going to get really annoying after a while. Hearing them dying all the time that's okay so what I'm gonna do is just lower all this one block and I can get rid of this glass here and what's gonna happen the water's still gonna be over there but now the second water is gonna be down here so yeah it's just everything is the same except it's just moved down one block like that and my silk touch pick works wonders with glass. I wish I had uh, efficiency three, efficiency four silk touch pick. That'd be amazing. All right, so this should work great now. Um, let's see. Yeah, you see. So what was happening before is they were falling down into the water and they would jump up, and yeah because there was only one block in between they could just swim up and through so this should fix the problem oops already let's place our water back in yeah, I don't want this to overflow yeah it's overflowing darn it got my sign block this off oops Um, let's see. Oh, we're gonna make this a bit longer. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I am. Okay. So they're gonna flow down here. I don't know how long this water will stretch. It goes up to there. And then we're gonna get rid of this sign here. Put in the wrong spot. Now we can just do this. Oops, not there. There we go. And now we can put our slimes back. Let's put my helmet back on. Lost my chest plate, darn it. Lava blade goes there. And this, oh, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Mushroom, don't die. Okay, there we go. Um, is that how I want it? I think it is. Yeah, that should be good. And excuse the phone in the background. Oops. All right. Uh, this should work good. And the drops will come out here. And we can make the piston mechanism earlier, like somewhere around here. So let's go test it out again. And if this works, uh, I'll be very happy. So let's go make sure it works. Turn it on. Get back upstairs. I need to find a better way to get up and down, but this is okay. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I left the torch in place. So it was on the whole time. 
It should be off now. Right? Yeah, it should be off. Oops. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Check it out. See, it's working. Go stand a bit farther back. Go grab some pistons while we're at it. Uh, I'll start experimenting. Off camera, maybe. Or maybe on camera if I'm feeling like it. Let's go harvest some mushrooms. Oh, there you go. It's the sweet sound of burning mobs. One of my favorite sounds in the game. <laughs> okay, what are we? What am, what am I doing here? Need, need, not here. I need pistons, which are over here. And yep, I have plenty left. Let's grab some. Go take a look how it's working. Here, creeper burning. One of my second favorite sounds. <laughs> Cool, cool. Yes. How do you like that lava? You like it, don't you? Alright, it's working great. So, thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to experiment with these pistons and stuff off camera. And once I get something working, I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching.